Hello, classy people. I got trouble in the 10th race at Philly tomorrow. But before we get going, as always, as you can see, your Speed King is not in the studio. He's outside the studio. It is getting upgraded because of you. Thanks so much for all your donations and all the support as we move into our second year. Our anniversary is on Traverse Day for sure. And uh, we wanted to upgrade the studio as we always talk about always improving and improving, of course. And we've done it with your uh, donation, your kind donations of tip sheets and coffees for the Speed King and buying shirts and membership. Oh, how big is that? We don't push that enough, I don't think. And again, just thanks everybody for your support these last two years. Um, for sure, uh, it is a, a labor of love for us. and. Uh, we built a serious community of classy people that respect each other's opinion and the right to have one, a place where we can come and talk. And uh, I answer all the comments. We have good commentary, and that's the point, right? It should be fun. I like it. So thanks so much, and um, just email me at speaking24. Well, well, well. You know on Tuesday it is the Smarty Jones. We think creative uh, ministers should smack them around in the 12th race. And in the 11th race, I don't know how they're going to beat the Mary Hawes, Brad Cox, and his band of horses, that interstate daydreaming, right? And the race right before then is race number 10, and i got problems, right? Hey, listen, the race number 10 is a $200,000 stake race. It is the Parks Dash. It's five panels, y'all. Five furlongs on the lawn now. Now, it's been raining like all oh, get out here Monday here at the uh, on the Jersey Shore, but it's sunny now. So if this comes off the grass, it's a field of eight. However, there's three also eligibles. The number nine, Violent Turbulence, the number 10, Doc Amster, who you need to take a look at if it comes off the turf for sure, and the number 11, Extreme Force. Those are AE horses, okay, if it comes off the grass. Of those horses, if it does come off the grass, you better take a long, strong, hard look at the number 10, Doc Amster. That is my antidote, right? Now, let's just say it's going to stay on the grass. It's five pounds. I got a problem because one of my old-time horses in here that I love to play, don't know why I love to play him, War Toxin. Who never wins? This is a bridesmaid, Speed King. I know. War Toxin is the number four at 10 to 1. I love that, right? Now, War Toxins keep good, good company, y'all. That's all he do. He keeps company. He don't win a lot. Well, listen to this here guy. This for a six-year-old gelding has 42 starts. <laughs> Three wins, eight seconds. No, he didn't just pick a bridesmaid. And five thirds. Yeah, he... You know, and the horse don't run on the grass, okay? Now, if it comes off the grass, you know, I know we like that Doc Amster down there, but War Toxin moves up big time if it comes off the dirt. But I think the horse can run on the grass, y'all. I'm just being a homer. I don't know why I always like War Toxin. Never ain't no real money on him. But the horse keeps tremendous company. Um, speed figures are suspect. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make him my long shot play. Oh, the old war toxin. Let's see if the horse can hit the war. If it comes off the turf, he ain't got to worry about it. He can handle his business, I think. So we're going to try and be a little cute here. We're going to use the number four horse war toxin as our top pick. Dirt or turf. No, he didn't just take the prize, man. I did. Please don't be mad at me. He's taking the one. I don't know why. The horse is trained by St. Louis. On the, Mr. Haddock is in the odds. Horses by violence. And the horse loves to run second and third. So you've been warned, right? So we're going to do a little, be a little cute and have War Toxin as our long shot playing here. Now, who does he have to beat? Well, you ain't got to look far. If this is on the grass, the number eight horse is the likely winner and the one to beat. The critical way, the critical way is an old time, an eight years old. Ain't as old as rated R superstar, right? But I tell you right now, the critical way... Uh, has 31 starts, 10 wins, 6 seconds, and 2 thirds for 600,000. This horse is by Tiz Way. And Delgado is doing all the training. And by the way, Delgado also trains Doc Hamster. But the number 8 horse on the grass, if this race stays as it's carded, this is seriously the horse to beat. 
The number eight horse critical way has a beautiful, beautiful speed figure. This horse ran a race down there at Monmouth Park on June 19th, which was a stake race. It was the select stake. Ran a beautiful speed figure behind Belgrano and proven strategies in the high limit room. And if that horse runs this race, this race is going to be well, well over on the turf. Got Paco in the arm for Delgado. And again, critical way on the turf is clearly, clearly the likely winner and the one to beat here. Even though I picked the number four horse, War Toxin, the hanging chandelier. So the number eight is going to be our second pick because I'm being a little cute right now and uh, it's clearly the horse to beat. Please don't misinterpret that. You don't have to follow me on War Toxin as my top pick because we know the number eight horse is a serious, serious horse on the grass in this race. And our second pick and third pick, uh, I guess our third pick it would be, is Scuttlebuzz. Scuttlebuzz is a five-year-old trained by Rudy Rodriguez who's struggling really, really bad up there at Saratoga this year. This horse is five to two on the morning line. Seven wins from 19 starts, two seconds and three thirds. The horse is by the fact that Rudy Rodriguez, you got Manny Franco coming out of New York on his day off on a Tuesday to come down here and ride Scuttlebuzz. And again, this horse is just like the number eight horse, Critical Ways. The two and the eight are clearly the two horses in here to, to beat and the horses that are likely winners. The eight or the two are the likely winners of these races on the turf. Now, I think War Toxin <laughs> is, um, you know, classy chandelier, um, but again, uh, you know, this race is, is pretty clear if it's on the turf, who it's gonna be, eight two two eight for sure. So the number two, Scuttle Buzz, is our third pick in here. If I had to round out my super, and I don't think I need to in this race, who would I take? I guess I would lean towards the number six horse, Running With Scissors, right? Running With Scissors isn't a bad, bad horse. Kibbies is our trainer, Gonzalez is in the yards, and this horse runs fairly decent. Um, the number six is eight to one on the morning line. You can't shake a stick at that. This horse ran a beautiful allowance race on the 26th of June at Belmont and ran a beautiful race. So I would probably round out my super with the number six, as well as the number three horse, uh, Callie, uh, Call Will. Call Will is an old time, 11 years old, the number three horse. I like old horses, right? Because actually that's what makes it fun. But Call Will uh, has 16 wins from 61 stars. No, he did not just said the old time and do his business. No, I mean, I like this horse. I like horses that stay on the racetrack and that the greediness doesn't take over and they take them to the breeding shed. No, he didn't just say it, I just said it. And I mean, Call Will, uh, 16 wins from 61 starts, 9 seconds, 9 thirds. I mean, can we put some respect on Call Will's name, huh? Guess how much they paid for this horse back in 2011 in the November Keeneland sale. They paid $4,500 for this horse. And the horse has earned over $400,000. So, I mean, I guess that's just a fan in me here. But I guess if I had to round out the super, it would be with Call Will and the number six horse running with scissors, right? And uh, the three and the six. But it's clear to me the two horses in this year's race to beat for sure is Critical Ways, the number eight, and of course, Scuttle Buzz. You don't need me to give you them. So our top pick is going to be a long shot here. We're taking War Toxin. What else is new, Speed King? And if it comes off the turf, they're really in trouble. The War Toxin's going to register a win. I always like War Toxin. I like the price at 10 to 1. I'll hook them up with the two likely winners in here, the number eight, Critical Way, and the number uh, two horse. Or scuttle buds and of course to round out the super would be the number six running with scissors and the number three call will the old timer at 11 years old right running 61 times so our top pick is four long shot with second eight and third the number two so it's four eight two like that in that order and our four place horses would be the six and the three let's see if we can get war toxin to run up yeah a huge race in this spot for sure let me know. Having a bunch of fun. This is going to be a fun race for me. I probably should find the box button for sure. Stay classy, y'all, in all that you do. Have a great, great work week for sure. And as always, I thank you so much for your support these last two years. I really do mean it. I really do mean it. So, have a good day.
War Toxin, the old hanging chandelier, the original bride maid.